In this video, we'll see how to calculate the mean, median, mode, variance, standard deviation, range, interquartile range with the help of SPSS. Before moving on to how to use SPSS, let's have a little bit of understanding regarding what is mean, median and mode. So mean, median and mode is usually known as the measures of central tendency. So in mean, what we'll do is we'll take the average of all the numbers. We'll count all the numbers and then divided this one with the total number of values in the data set. We'll get the mean. Then in order to calculate the median, we will arrange the numbers in a particular order, especially from the lowest value to the higher value. Then take the middle value that is actually known as the median. Next one is mode. When we arrange the number in a particular order, we can see that there is a particular number which is repeating more number of times and that is known as the mode. So with the help of an example, we'll try to understand what is mean, median and mode. So this is our data set, around six numbers are there. So how to calculate the mean for this particular data set? We need to add all these numbers. So while adding all these numbers, we'll get the sum as 30. Then divide this one with the total number of numbers in the data set. So 30 divided by 6 we will get the mean as 5. Then related to the median, in order to calculate the median we need to arrange the number in an order from the lowest one to the highest one and then take the middle number. Sometimes if uh, there are odd numbers are there in the data set, it is very easy to pick the middle number. Suppose if there are even numbers are there in this data set, what we need to do is we need to take the middle numbers and then divide this one with 2. So here in this case there are 6 numbers in the data set. What we need to do is we need to take the middle numbers that is 3 plus 6, 3 and 6. Then add it 3 plus 6 is 9 divided by 2 we will get 4.5. So 4.5 is the median of this data set. Next one is mode. Mode is the most common number which is repeating in the data set. So here you can see 3 is repeating 2 times. So the mode of this number is 3. Then we will go to the SPSS and see how it is being calculated with the help of SPSS. We will take a data set. So here we are having two variables. One is age and the experience. So how to calculate the age and the experience, mean, median and mode of age and experience. What we need to do is we need to go to descriptive statistics, click on frequencies, select age, click on statistics, click on mean, median and mode. Then click on continue, click on OK. Here you can see there are 395 values are there, there are no missing values. The mean is 22.12, the median is 22 and the mode is 21. The way in which you need to calculate it. So here also you can see 21 is the maximum frequency is for 21 so here you can see the mode will be 21 then we'll see the next uh, aspects range range of a particular data set is the difference between the largest and the smallest value in the data set so the same example we'll take this is our data set Range means the difference between the largest value that is the 9 and the smallest value here it is 1. So the difference between the 9 and the 1 that is 8 is representing the range of this particular data set. So how to calculate the range? What we need to do is click on analyze, go to descriptive statistics, click on frequencies. So age has already been selected here. Click on statistics. Here in dispersion we can see range. Click on this one, click on continue, click OK. Here you can see the range is 7. So I will show you how we got this 7. We will we'll take the maximum and the minimum also. So we'll click on analyze, descriptive statistics, click on frequencies, click on statistics. Uh, we will take the maximum and the minimum to and click on continue, OK. So here you can see the maximum is maximum value of the age is 27 and the minimum value is 20. So what is the meaning of this range? The difference between the maximum value and the minimum value that is 27 minus 20 that is 7. The way in which you need to calculate the range.
The next concept is how to calculate the quartiles. The concept of quartile is that we will divide the entire data set into four equal quartiles or quartiles. So how it is been done? Initially we will divide the entire data set into two, then again dividing the right portion into two and to the left portion also into two. So eventually we are uh, dividing the entire data set into four equal parts 25 percentage of the data is actually coming under the first quartile next 25 percentage in the second quartile next 25 percentage in the third quartile and last 25 percentage in the fourth quartile so how to do that one we will see in the SPSS how to calculate the quartiles so quartiles is nothing but dividing the entire uh, data set into four different quartiles so in order to calculate that one click on analyze descriptive statistics go to frequencies age is selected here click on statistics here we can see the quartiles here so click on that one continue click on ok so here we can see the first 25 quartiles second is the mean that is the 50 third one is 75 so this we are actually dividing this one to four different quartiles so this is the way in which you need to calculate the quartiles next concept is interquartile range interquartile range is the mid spread or the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile if you take the example of this particular data set here you can see the first quartile is q1 is 3 and the second quartile the q3 is 8 so interquartile range or the mid spread is q3 minus q1 that is 8 minus 3 that is 5 so how to calculate this one in SPSS just go to our data file then uh, click on analyze descriptive statistics then uh, click on explore we'll take age here to the dependent list select the statistics select the descriptives here and the percentiles also click on continue then uh, click on ok so it is running Here in this particular descriptive box, we can see a lot of other descriptive statistics of our data, like the median is there, the variance is there, standard deviation is there, minimum, maximum range, and the interquartile range. You can see all these things here. So here we can see the interquartile range is 2. Then the next one is how to calculate the variance and standard deviation the variance is actually showing how far the numbers are actually spread out from their mean value or the average value the average of the square differences from the mean that is actually the variance when you take the square root of the variance we will get the standard deviation so both the standard deviation and the variance is actually telling us how far the numbers are spread out from their average value so these two values are very much important for understanding uh, the spread of our data from the mean value so how to calculate uh, the variance and the standard deviation just go to our uh, data file click on analyze descriptive statistics click on frequencies click on statistics here you can see the standard deviation and the variance you can do it all together or I shown you separately how to do it in an easy way so just click on continue click on ok you can see here the standard deviation is 1.44 and the variance is 2.087 that is actually telling how far the data is actually spread out from their uh, average value or the mean value hope the video is clear